Hi dearest, welcome once more back to my channel The Vent Craft. So today we're going to be learning how to make the trendy multiple hairband, but we're going to be doing it just with crinoline. So but before we jump into that, let us see the winners of the video on the hat transformation. Yeah, that is Brenda Jennings, Beauty Wachiko, and Bukola Olani. Congratulations, you have won to attend Fascinator Class 3 for half price. Okay, so to grab your gift, you need to check the Devrend Craft Academy link below and claim your prize. Thank you. Okay, let's see the items we'll be using to make our trendy multiple bow headband. First is our measurement tape, then our Alice band, needle and thread, feathers, spiky feathers, scissors, seven width inch cream line, our trimming, uhu gum, and our electric glue gum or hot glue gum, then some sunflower. Next step is to measure out three different sizes of crinoline. Now I started the first one is 28 inches, the next is 26, and the next is 24. Now I've taken out the thread that is usually at the edge and I've also put uhu gum at the edges to avoid it from fraying. So the next thing I'm going to do is make bows with each of them. So I'm going to show you how to make one. So I first join the two edges together as in I overlap them, not put it together per se, overlap them, then squeeze it like so. You can do a pleat to also help. And then I take my needle and thread and I begin to sew. So keep watching and learning. Oh yeah, remember that the AliExpress and Amazon links to all the items used will be in the description of this video. Once I'm done with that, I take the three pieces that I've sewn already. Remember I told you I'll show one, so I've done the other three. And I place with the larger, starting with the largest, that's the 28 inches, the 26 and the 24. So I'm going to be sewing them together on top of each other. Ensure that they stay on top of each other and in the middle okay like that and you start sewing so keep watching and learning how we make the trendy multiple bow headband with just crinoline okay next we need to have our loops that are going to be on top and just in case your measurements are different from mine you want to measure it like this to get your two loops okay so i've checked mine and that's what i'm going to be cutting right now with my scissors so mine turned out to be 14 inches so i have 14 inches for the two and now the next thing is to remove the thread remember remove the thread in all of them so that's how you do that the thread at the edge and i'm going to be sewing it like that i fold it then i sew it all together to form the top loops that will be on top of those bows that i have just made so keep watching and learn wondering how people are getting gifts in my channel stay to the end of this video Okay, so before I sewed those loops, I noticed that my bows were shaking anyhow, so I decided to sew them to make them firmer. If you can see, I'm positioning them well. I'm moving my thread a little bit to the left and to the right to ensure these bows do not move. So you want to do that also when you're making your trendy multiple bow headband. Okay, so let's fix our loops now. So can you see how I'm doing it? I put it behind like so. Take the other one and put it just behind that one too. Can you see the slanting? And the design is forming like a fan shape sort of. Then I sew it to the triple bow that I have made. Keep watching and learning. If you're gaining value from this video, you want to give me that thumbs up, click that thumbs up button below this video. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Next step in making this trendy multiple bow headband is to place the bows, the multiple bows, on top of your Alice band and you begin to sew. Ensure that your multiple bows sit on top of the Alice band perfectly and it doesn't move or shake. As you're sewing, you check to see that it is firm. Yeah, you know what? I've been um, putting together an, a masterclass on crinoline. So if you're interested, do let me know in the comment section below. Gain value from this video and haven't subscribed yet? Oh, please do click that subscribe button and also the bell so you get notified when I put up new videos. Next step in making the trendy multiple bow headband is to cut out the trimmings you're going to use to cover up the sewings that you have done. Well, it could be something else, but I made use of trimmings. You could make use of flowers. I finally use flowers, but I use trimmings first of all so that I could cover the under part. You know, the under part will be sitting on the head, and you don't want flowers choking anybody or anything like that. So, trimmings or cloth could be okay. <laughs> So my camera did a number on me and I thought I had glued showing you so I had to do this to show you that I glued it on top of the trimming. Also I used the same hot glue to glue the feathers and placed the sunflower on top of the feathers to cover the lower part of the feathers. And that's how you make the trendy multiple bow headband. So for staying with me to the very end of this video, here is your question to win to attend any of the Vencraft academic class of your choice for free. You get to select amongst all these classes that we have in the Vencraft academic and you attend it for free. Now the question is how many loops not bows. How many loops were used in making this trendy multiple bow headband? Please do write your answer in the comment section below this video. Remember the winner gets to select one class out of all these numerous classes that we have to attend for free. Now take a look at the trendy multiple bow headband carefully. Loops. Loops. It's kind of a tricky question, but the loops. So I'm waiting for your answer in the comment section below. So till we meet next time, it is goodbye and God bless.